An arrest has been made in an attack that claimed the life of a Brooklyn Park man. 25-year-old Awal Ladipo died after he was punched and hit his head on the ground outside a Minneapolis night spot last week. As Reg Chapman reports, the arrest is an answer to his family's prayers. All we need is justice for our son. Awal Lapido's father, mother, brother, sister, and wife have been praying for justice ever since they got the call that he was injured in a fight. Even in death, Awal is a large person. Awal died two days after the attack. Family members knew something was not right with the story Awal's friends were telling them about what happened. And this guy came from nowhere and just knocked him out. And he hit his head on the floor. And he passed out. And they didn't know what to do. They went and get eyes trying to wake him up. And when they couldn't wake him up, that's when they brought him to the hospital. And I was like, why didn't you call 911? Family learned more when video of the attack spread on social media. And then more videos. First, we thought it was just one person. Then it became two, it became three. We didn't even break the news. The social media broke the news to everybody. One week later, this family is able to share the news that someone was arrested and may be held responsible for the death of their son. We're Christian. We want to forgive, but we want somebody to come forward. We want somebody to be accountable for what they did. They are waiting on word from investigators about what led up to the punch that claimed a wall's life. This needs to stop among our youth. In Brooklyn Park, Reg Chapman, WCCO 4 News. A man is being held in the Hennepin County Jail on suspicion of probable cause murder. Charges from the Hennepin County attorney are expected within the next day or so. We are getting a look at video posted on social media that shows the moment a minivan intentionally drove into a crowd of people. It happened Saturday night near Grant and Nicollet Avenues. Minneapolis police say that two women were in the vehicle that jumped a curb and hit two people. They were taken to the hospital with non-life-threatening injuries. The two women in the minivan were treated by paramedics and taken into custody. Investigators are still trying to figure out what led up to the incident.